vertical tracking angle, VTA. Uh, stereo azimuth here. This is an addendum to the like setup, turntable setup that I did. Although you may have found this video just because you want to know about VTA and maybe techniques, turntables, I don't know. But what is VTA? How do we adjust for it? How do we calculate for it? What do we do? Um, does it matter? Doesn't matter. I'm not going to really answer in this video because there is some controversy around vertical tracking angle. Do we really, does it really matter? Um, if I'm off a little bit. Um, so the sound quality, I've always said that you should be, you know, adjusted as much as the way that the manufacturer specified the cartridge as possible, which is what they want is the tone arm to be completely flat. Um, so vertical tracking angle is that where the pivot, you want it to be zero, right? Or the, I mean, that's the angle is zero, but the vertical tracking angle is that. So you don't want it tipped up on the pivot side and you don't want it tipped up on the cartridge side. If it's tipped up on the pivot side and tipped down, um, I find the sound too bassy. And if it's tipped up, then I find it too trebly. So what do we do with it? How do we adjust the VTA? I have, you know, Techniques 1200. I have a, a 1200 or I have a tone arm that has vertical tracking adjustment. Tell me, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I set it? Well, where you set it kind of depends on a couple of different factors. Um, number one, uh, your cartridge. So every cartridge has a cartridge height and should specify the cartridge height. If you don't know what it is, then you should go and find out what that cartridge height is. Um, the second thing is that you should also your turntable mat. Uh, a lot of people use different turntable mats and you know, that can change your VTA because now it's going to be, you know, you can start tipping it up you know, and, and that's, you know, what you don't want and it sounds too trebly and that sort of thing. So, and then, uh, the cartridge, you have to know also the specifications of your tone arm, like your tone arm, whatever your turntable is, whatever your tone arm, like whatever you have it set, like you need to know what it really wants to see. Like what is the cartridge, uh, spec say, um, so all of those things go into play of where you set your your vertical tracking angle so let's just go through that let's just you know there is a way to check your vertical tracking angle if you have a tone arm or even if you don't have a tone arm there's there's still ways that you can adjust that we'll get to in a second but where, uh, what we should do and how we should go about it and how we should think about it and how we should adjust for it. So let's just get to it. So here's my SL1200 M3D. Just know that, uh, you know, this is where we set our lock and unlock for the VTA. I'm only adjusting it like while the tone arm is locked and we have our little indicator uh down here there's a little arrow that tells me where i'm at and these little numbers on this ring that tell me you know what what number that i'm at well what do these numbers mean well these numbers mean millimeters so zero is going to be you know uh you know at at its at its dead spec and then one is going to be one millimeter higher than that two is going to be two millimeters higher etc but where do i exactly set it hmm good question because I didn't find this out until today and doing some research but a SL1200 M3D uh, which is what I have is different like the zero where the zero is is different than a MK2 okay and also an MK5 is the same as the M3D MK7 is the same as the M3D but the 1500C is also different from all of those models and it's different from the MK2. You say, well, well, wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So up on your screen, you should see the specs for the MK2, the M3D and the 1500Z. And the way that we look at this is if you look at the MK2, it says the tone arm 
cartridge millimeter height it 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 at the zero reading of the arm height adjustment at zero is for a 15 millimeter cartridge okay well let's look at the m3d well its height control position at zero is for a cartridge that is 17 millimeters oh whoa so we're two millimeters off so an actual m3d the tone arm is two millimeters higher than an mk2 that is what that is telling me and it's also telling me i can't really go below like you know 17 in height okay so there you go and also just know that the m3 m i should have put it on here on the on the page but the m3d the mk5 and the newer mk7 have all these same I, I looked them all up you you can look at your manual and see you can search on the manuals and see I, I got these screenshots from the techniques manuals that it's like the zero position is at 17 and then it just goes up from there now if you look at the last one on the end the 1500 C the cartridge height for zero is 14 millimeters so it's actually like one millimeter below an mk2 and like even further like three millimeters below like a m3d or mk5 or mk7 so what does that actually mean well i have to look up like my ortophone 2m blue and it's the same for 2m red 2m black any of the 2m series that the the uh i said know your cartridge height I had to go to Ortofone's site and look it up. It wasn't even listed in their regular specs, but it's 18 millimeters. So basically that is why mine is now set at one because that is the height for the cartridge. Okay, now I'm using a mat that is the same thickness as the original uh, stock mat so that is why that it is like that. So, but uh, I also have a cartridge. I have a Sure cartridge. And, you know, it's actually like 15.8. So I'm like, oh, man, how am I going to get it up to 17? Well, that's actually not a bad position to be in because what you can do, and I'll go back to my main uh, video camera here. Not here, but we'll go here. Um, it's basically I have my sure cartridge here and I have the cart what I can do is you can add a spacer so there are spacers that you can add that will you know make it taller essentially or, or give it some lift and the spacers are sold like half a millimeter one millimeter however much that you need you can even get them uh, in different you know sort of thicknesses and basically you add that spacer uh, so some Stanton cartridges uh, like for this may need a spacer but if you add that spacer then it is going to give you that uh, that adjustment to where you can uh, to where it's now it's going to give you like the the um, the height that you need so I can get up to at least 17 or I can be at least in one of those areas that I can see and then I can adjust for on my VTA my vertical uh, tracking angle uh, adjustment so so that that is how that is done and if you don't have uh, you know a, a you know a vertical tracking angle that is how you do it so if you have like say a Riga turntable for example or a project and you're like but I don't know like it's set for you know 18 millimeters because you know 2m red is what shipped with my um my my turntable i mean i don't know what the spec is of project turntables or whatever i know rigas are different they sit low they sit higher low. i can't remember but basically they're different but you can add spacers so if they they send like riga sends a specific cartridge for that model but then if you want to add another cartridge then you can add spacers so so you can get it down you know to whatever that 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 spec is but essentially uh 
you know, wh what can you do to check it? What if I have a, a mat that, you know, brings, brings it up? What if I have this? What if I have that? What if I don't know the specs of my particular turntable that's not listed or this cartridge that's may not listed? Well, that's easy. That goes back to the first video that I said, and I'll give a link to some different tools. There's like some plexiglass um, like grids basically that you can set on top of your, uh, your record and then bring your tone arm over and then it will give you a nice, you know, when you, when you look at the turntable and you look through the side and you look and you can see where your tone arm is. And I'll provide a link. There's a couple different models that are out there that you can use to check your VTA. Um, some people say that if you're off by, you know, like a millimeter or two, it's not that big a deal. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've seen, I've played with my VTA on my Technique's turntable. And I mean, I can hear a difference in the sound quality when it is set, you know, where it needs to be and where it's correct and where, uh, that it is not. So, so just, just know that, um, but I, I, I wanted to mainly highlight, and I'm going to go back to this sheet again, because I just want people to understand that just because you see a Techniques SL1200 like tone arm, even the same manufacturer, and it looks exactly the same, the tone arm height is different. So make sure that you know and that you are a complete nerd about your specs of your table your cartridge and everything that's involved uh because that's what i mean that's what turntable audio file is all about i mean you just you, you spec out on all this stuff so that you're aware so you can get all the playability i mean none of this stuff was really standardized cartridge height wasn't really standardized Vertical tracking weight wasn't standardized. I mean, we don't have a standard for, you know, moving magnet or like even phono cartridge output. Um, so it, it, there's a lot of stuff to know and to understand about, you know, phono hi-fi like playback. And I think that the vertical tracking uh, uh, angle and is the most confusing and, and track height and all that kind of stuff. But if you do a little research, uh, you can go to Vinyl Engine, you can look up your, your, your cartridge, you can look up your turntable, and you can find out, hopefully, and be able to get, you know, whatever, whatever that you need to get your, um, make sure you get your tracking height correct and get it to where your VTA and where you're all aligned. So hopefully, I hope that this was helpful to all of you and learning about vertical tracking adjustment if anybody else has any suggestions or any anything else to point any other products that might be able to help please feel free to comment in the comment section um, always uh, to try to be helpful that's what i'm here to do i'm trying to help everybody out uh, with all their hi-fi and uh, all their audio stuff so thanks very much have a good day everybody i'm stereo azimuth we'll talk to you later